Hi, I'm Jack. I'm currently one of the youth leaders at Home Base, uh, but before that I had a slightly different story and it's actually a little bit of a long time frame. Uh, my, I'll start right at the start, I guess. Uh, for context, my mum and dad are both Christians um, and were youth leaders back in their day. That was whenever that was, I won't shame them with that. And so I've been going along to church, Sunday schools, you know, all the, all the hot and jam ever since I was a kid. Uh, I was, you know, all the, all the good Christian things that my parents did for me when I was young and I was, it was all, it was all there. Uh, but moved away and been moving around a lot, so never really, wasn't really stuck in one spot, I guess. Uh, moved to, lived in Switzerland for four years and lived around the place in Queensland and Parramatta and a bunch of different spots over my life and so never really was grounded uh, but more to that. I've uh, been living in sort of the Epping area for quite a while and in the, through my high school years and one of my one of my mates who used to come here on, on the regular uh, Nathaniel he was he invited me along to youth group. Now I'd been to youth groups here and there at the church I was going to I was going to Hillsong in the Hills campus I'd been there wasn't my thing. I'd been to a bunch of others, some in Beecroft, Cheltenham. Wasn't really, uh, didn't, didn't really catch me. But uh, Nathaniel invited me over and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Went over and came to home base. This is a very amazing place. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. And then um, I, I didn't come again for another couple of years, I think. <laughs> and then. Uh, uh, decided I'd uh, come back. He just kept asking me. Uh, he, he'd ask me every Friday uh, before I was going to go home and said at lunchtime he was like, hey, want to come along to youth? And I'm like, yeah, sure, but this. I kept making excuses. I kept doing other things. But eventually, around two years ago, in uh, my last couple years of high school, I actually sort of started rocking up. And started to make friends, started to become a bit more confident in myself and the, it was the atmosphere there and the, the great, great people there and the fantastic youth leaders at the time, um, including the, the late youth leader Ben and the, uh, the current Rohan, uh, who was my connect group leader at the time. But I really actually started coming for myself. Uh, it ended up that my friend Nathaniel actually stopped coming and I would still rock up, which was one of the things that stopped me coming earlier because he wasn't coming the next week, so I just, I didn't come. It wasn't for me at that point. Uh, didn't sort of have that drive, but he just kept asking. And so eventually I started rocking up without him because I thought this place was awesome. And then I uh, was winter camp on in 2019. Uh, about halfway through the year, we were at a out in Port Hacking, and it was one of the worship nights. And I was hit in that moment uh, by the the realization and by the conviction of the Spirit, and that I knew that there was more there that there was more to this than just rocking up because I had to just because it was who uh, whoever else had told me that I had to be there. And that really put the, put, the, put the pressure on me to then go and act on it. And I did. And that's where we are now, um, youth leading. And really the, the grace of God really pressed into me there as, as, I, as I moved from being a, a, a lukewarm, Christian, as, you, as they like to say, as someone who was just there because mum and dad told me I had to go and my friends invited me along and I was sort of, you know, I was going to make them happy and I was, you know, yeah, it was great. I was singing the songs, I was playing the games, but uh, I, I realised in that moment that I, may, I needed to make a, that I, it was a conscious decision to be made. And I made that decision. I, I started turning up to C3 uh, in the old hall before it burnt down and um, started uh, to really make my, my own way in, in life and it's, it's been an amazing journey. 
uh, even through COVID and youth leading and it's been uh, a really, uh, it's been challenging for sure and but a great learning experience, a fantastic learning experience and uh, truly the, the biggest impact on my life has been this, this sort of transition because it's made me uh, a large portion of who I am, my, my character, my ability to talk to people and, and my, my walk with Jesus has been stronger ever since.